What is good mga champion and welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I would just like to address some of the common questions na nare-receive ko and that is, paano nga ba tayo makakaspot ng reversal? Okay? So you have to understand there are a variety of ways pagdating sa pag spot ng reversal and how do we identify them? First is of course, you have to know the market structure, patterns, market structure, cycle and more importantly meron tayong tinatawag na market structure behavior so lahat yan will play a role para ma maspatan nyo yung mga tinatawag natin reversal so of course in confluence with our key leveling and yung mga support and resistances at the same time yung mga tinatawag natin candlestick patterns so uh, it is a combination of all these tools para malaman natin if the market would have the probability of reversal or not right so without further ado, let's get straight to the charts. Alright. Okay. So, again, how do we spot reversal? Okay. So I have marked already on the left side, left side of the chart, is our higher time frame, which is our 4-hour time frame. So mama nyo, I have marked my key levels because these are past uh, trades that I have took dito sa market na to. Particularly, itong uh, Aussie dollar uh, currency pair. So again, how do I spot itong reversal na yan? So, meron tayong tinatawag na 1, 2, 3 touch rule. So I have already shared this uh, strategy way back 2 years ago, 1 and a half years ago, pagdating sa reversals. So, paano nga ba natin may ispatan to? And what are the influences na pwede natin consider as factors para makuha natin yung either long opportunity and short opportunity so as you can see from the from the past month i have took some short-term trades okay for this pair and of course swing trades uh, meron din ako yan on sa kabila kong, uh, charts so again paano ko ba naspatan tong uh, short trade na to sa aussie dollar okay so makamansin nyo i have marked my key level of resistances around this level and also yung ating support. So, how will I know if the market will reverse? So, meron tayong tinatawag, tinatawag na uh, channel trading at the same time yung 1, 2, 3 touch rule. So, kaya ako sinasabi yung market structure, behavior, and yung cycle, we should understand that the market normally, paulit-ulit lang yan ang cycle niya when it comes to patterns and structure. So, ibig sabihin yan, if you are familiar with some structure in the market, more or less, meron ka na idea ano yung possible na mangyari. So that is why sa market, we're only dealing with probabilities and possibilities. So sa tagal ko nang trade, more or less, laging ganito or most of the time, may mga ganitong uh, nangyayari prior reversal. So nandyan yung tinatawag nating 1, 2, 3 touch rule when it comes to channel trading. So if you want to have a short trade, look for a channel on the bullish run. So, ibig sabihin na you have to look for a bull channel. Okay? So, and on the third, uh, on the third touch, more or less, when it has the confluence of a resistance, definitely, magkakaroon niya na reversal pababa. Okay? So, at this point, kung makita niyo on a higher time frame, the market uh, touched this channel. Okay? The first, uh, uh, trend line uh, resistance pataas and second okay kung mapasin nyo sa pangatlo it is in confluence with what? with the resistance dun sa kaliwang uh, market structure so which means when it comes to confluence meron tayong confluence which is resistance and at the same time and how do I find for the opportunity? of course dyan na pupunta yung titignan mo yung nangyayari sa lower time frame okay so dito sa right side ng chart is my lower time frame which is 15 minutes so normally what i do when it comes to opportunities lagging combination yan ng time frame multi time frame analysis so pag ako ay mag day trade normally short term trades uh either ang higher time frame ko is 4 hours 15 minutes and 1 hour or 5 minutes so at this point explain ko lang paano ako nakahanap ng opportunity so we have this upward uh, or uptrend okay and 
Tandaan nyo, I am in confluence with the resistance sa higher time frame, which means, okay, I have to break this trend line support. Para masabi ko na, ah, uh, pwede ako mag-sell. Dahil as per our rule nga, di ba, sa TFPUR system, I should be below horizontal resistance or support. And at the same time, I should break in trend line uh, support. So which means I, I should have at least two confluences bago ako mag-decide for a trade. So let's play out itong uh, nangyari from the lower time frame and explain ko saan ako nag-enter nag and bakit ako nag-decide na mag-enter. Right? So I'll just play out the candles para sa, uh, sa inyo. Right? Okay? So at this point, nag-react siya dito sa ating upward uh, trend line resistance which is itong ang trend line nito sa so 1, 2, 3 and we all know that what? I am reacting as well magre-react yan sa ating resistance on a higher time frame okay so at this point kaya ako binargahan tong uh, level na to because they are consolidation sa mas mababang time frame and they are more reaction which means it has a vital role dito sa structure na yan. Itong uh, gulay gray na level which is the support. Okay. So, ano nangyari next? Right. So, at this point, okay, kung mapansin nyo, ah, uh, I will just zoom. Nabasag ng market yung trend line support ko na to. Itong diagonal na yan. Okay. At the same time, nabasag niya rin yung support level na to. And, at the same time, makakamasin nyo, I have marked my HPT zone. So, ang HPT zone ka dyan is, saan ko nakuha? Since I am below itong higher time frame assistance, that's one confluence. Second is, nabasag ko itong trail and support. Okay? Bonus na lang itong nabasag niya yung horizontal support na to on a lower time frame. So, which means, my key area of opportunity for a trade is nandito which is yung aking high probability trade zone as entry. So, kaya dito. Not actually below nitong support level on a lower time frame. But, okay, take into consideration whenever I do an entry, I always take into consideration yung tinatawag natin na spread. Okay, iba-iba tayo ng brokers. So, we might as well check and be familiar sa ating broker kung gaano kalapad or kalawak yung kinakain nila doon when it comes to spread allocation. So, ako, if my target entry is dito sa support na yan, okay, dahil napasag nga siya, uh, I should give an allowance of like a few pips uh, para mas maaga siya matrigger. So, there are cases nga, di ba, when it comes to spread na tinamaan na dun sa entry mo pero hindi pa trigger. So, which means you have to make sure that you always consider yung spread ng inyong brokers. Okay? So, again, kung makasin nyo, na itong bearish candle na ito, itong kulay black na malaki yan, as imbalance, okay? Uh, yan yung break, uh, break uh, candle ng dalawang support. Yung trend line and then yung horizontal. So, which means, it is a strong indication that the market really wants to go down as a short. At the same time, uh, ni-reject niya rin itong resistance level sa higher time frame. Which means, uh, I'm really aiming for the high probability trade zone as entry. So, saan na trigger entry? Okay? My entry target is actually to sa block na yan. So, yung allowance na to, uh, hold on, I'll just, yung allowance na to is actually yung uh, consideration ko sa spread. Okay? So, which means, na-trigger yung entry ko nitong week na yan. Okay? Meaning, it's a running trade. Okay? And then, my target Mapansin nyo, my target, you don't set target sa lower time frame. We set target kung saan tayo nag-mark sa higher time frame. Which means, mabalik tayo ng 4 hours and may set target. Normally, kasi kapag uh, uh, reversal na yan, binabasag nyo yung buong channel. Which means, you just have to go back dun sa previous support mo. So, after nitong series of 1, 2, 3, you have what? Uh, a bearish momentum pababa at least going through yung previous support mo. So, that is why, makita nyo, my target was prior dyan sa support. Okay? Again, considering yung spread. So, let's play out itong uh, 
chart na to on a lower time frame para makita natin ano nangyari sa price. So I was triggered doon sa doon sa week na yon. Okay? And then next right Okay. Medyo naglalag lang. All right. Okay, so take profit. So this trade was actually 1 is to 5 uh, risk to reward ratio. Okay. 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 exit. Right. So that short trade was actually <laughs> played out dahil nga dun sa 1 to 3 touch rule. And the third being our best opportunity for uh, short. Okay? Tandaan nyo, we don't decide just because it's the third touch. We must have confluences dun sa market structure. Bahay ko siya consider as best short opportunity dahil in confluence siya with my resistance sa kaliwa. At the same time, okay, at the same time, I'm not entering blindly dahil third touch na siya. Okay? I must satisfy my lower time frame rules which is nangyari nga. So, that's why I decided for that short trade. So, paano naman tong long trade? So, tandaan nyo, when you want to have a short-term opportunity or short trade opportunity, you must have to have a bullish channel and on the third touch, sa taas, that's your opportunity. Kapag ka naman uh, long opportunity or buy opportunity, your third touch must be sa ilalim, sa support, and it must be a bearish channel. Okay? So, kung makikita nyo, we have this channel and the third touch, okay, is our bullish opportunity. Okay? It doesn't happen, tandaan nyo, paano ba ako makakonsider ng channel? You must have at least two points para i-connect. So, which is, ito yung one and two for the uh, upward channel and one and two para sa third uh, touch dito sa bearish channel. So, tandaan nyo, it's just the opposite. Kapag bullish, best opportunity is short sa third touch. Kapag ka naman uh, bearish ang channel, best opportunity is bullish sa third touch. Third touch, sorry. Sa, sa ano, sa hmm, trendline support. Right? So, paano ko naman nakuha tong uh, uh, long opportunity on the third touch? Tandaan nyo, bakit ko nasabing dito yung third touch? Kasi, you will extend your, ano, your support trend line. Okay? Your support trend line from that from that area. So, which means, pag nag-react doon, that's the time you go down to a much lower time frame. Which, yun nga yung ginawa ko. Okay? So, I went down sa lower time frame. So, I just... Pakita ko lang ha, yung naging uh, thought process on how I entered dito sa market. Okay? Alright, so prior entry, okay, nagkakaroon na tayo ng downward channel. Playout ko lang to. Okay? So more or less, around this area, nag-react na dun sa ating third touch. So which means, uh, sa ating trend line. So kung mapansin nyo, before I would decide for a buy opportunity, I have to make sure na ano, I have to make sure na mabasag tong trend line resistance. Bakit? That's our rule based sa system rules. So, as confluence, I should be above ng ano, I should be above horizontal support, I should be above trend line support, and I should be breaking trend line resistance. So, meaning, kailangan, ang HPT ko ngayon is around this area. Uh, would be this area. Okay? More or less. Wait, sorry. My HPT would be around this area. Okay, why? I should be above on this levels. Okay, so this would be my HPT zone. So, paano ko masasabi na pwede na akong bumili? So, I have to make sure that market would break through itong trailer resistance at the same time, I must be above at least itong level na to and itong level na to. So, anong titignan ko? Of course, uh, buying pressure candles as confirmation. Okay? In support of the confluences. 
Okay, so ang goal ko lang, kailang babasag muna to. That's one. And I must be above itong support levels. So let's play out itong uh, ating candlesticks. Okay, so makasin nyo at this point, uh, the market tried many times. One, two, three, but all failed. So which means I don't have uh, an execution at this point. So in the satisfying rules, I don't have to do anything but to observe. Okay. Yep, sorry sa lag. Alright. Okay. Ano nangyari? Okay, ano nangyari? The market broke through dito sa ating resistance. Which is itong area na to. Itong candles na yan. So, which means, okay, I should have, what? A confirmation na that uh, market really wants to go up. But, of course, at this point, I must be above this level. So, tandaan nyo, meron akong HPT zone area. So, I have to make sure that at least I should buy on a match discount. So, ibig sabihin, meron akong support sa ilalim. Gusto ko lang makakita ng bullish candle confirmation or buying pressure candles around this area. So, kung makikita nyo, dito, wala. Okay? However, kung makikita nyo, meron tayong engulfing. So, which means that a sign that there's a bullish momentum na talaga pataas. Okay? So, saan ako na-trigger? Saan na-trigger entry? Of course, hindi ko naman masasaktohan na uh, dyan agad. I have to have a confirmation that these two candles would close muna bago ako mag-decide na ano, bumili. So, saan na-trigger yung entry ko? Okay. Na-trigger yung entry ko uh, after pa ng dalawang candles which means dito. Na-trigger entry nung closing nitong green candle na yan. Okay, not itong bearish candle. So, ibig sabihin yan, ito yung naging confirmation ko in confluence doon sa aking rules na nabasag na yung ano, trend line uh, resistance, I am above at support, and I am at the HPT zone. So, hindi ko naman masasaktohan agad to. So, ibig sabihin, the few candles have already gone and uh, nag-close na bago ako naka-enter. So, na-trigger yung aking limit order. Okay? Dito sa candle na yan. So, tignan natin. And my target, okay, again, meron na tayong entry, of course. In target is, of course, your take profit would be on a higher time frame. Balik ko sa higher time frame. So, you have to look for significant level of resistance. Ganun lang naman yan. When you are at support, uh, itipi mo sa resistance. When you are resistant, itipi mo at the next support. So, may reactions dito, 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 dito. So, this uh, significant area para sa market. So, more or less, dyan na ako maglalagay ng take profit. Alright? So, hindi dun sa pinakatoktok dahil I'm not sure na pupunta yan sa taas at this point. So, pinaka-safe na gawin mong take profit is yung multiple reactions uh, dun sa pupuntahan niya. So, again, bakit hindi ko sinasak dun sa level? I always account for the spread. Okay? Kaya magbigay ka ng allowance. Alright? So, let's play this out. So, kung saan napunta yung market Right? So, at this point, just let it run. And of course, stop loss. Okay, you have to consider stop loss reasonably. So, just below the structure is the normal uh, placement of stop loss. Okay. Pilisan natin ang ulit. Yan. Right. Right. So, market went for a series of like consolidation, etc. So, yep. So, nag-take profit na siya around, uh, when was this? October 10. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, this trade was, again, 1 is to 5. 
Uh, same with my short. Okay, around 1 to 5, 1 to 6. So, hindi mo naman lagi masasakto na 1 is to 5, 1 is to 6, 1 is to 8 yung risk to reward ratio mo dahil based yan saan. Based sa market structure at kung gaano kalawak yung itatakbo ng market. Of course, as much as possible, mas malaki dapat yung profit range mo kaysa sa risk. Okay? Hindi ako nagtitrade ng 1 is to 1 dahil for me, uh, hindi siya practical, doesn't make sense kasi hanggat maaari, I always want a winning trade na pwedeng makover yung previous losses ko if ever. Okay? Kaya mas maganda, Minimum 1 is to 3 risk to reward ratio. Right? Okay? So, I hope you understand the logic of uh, 1 to 3 touch rule. Okay? It's just the opposite logic when it comes to opportunities. Kapag pataas yung channel, look for the third touch for a short uh, opportunity or selling opportunity. Kapag naman pababa yung channel, look for the uh, third touch to support na uh, trend line mo uh, for a long opportunity or buy. Okay? So, again, there are many ways para may ispata natin yung uh, there are many ways para may ispata natin yung mga reversals in combination with structure, sabi nga, circle, behavior. Kaya dapat familiar na kayo and the more you trade, the more makikita nyo yung mga patterns na yan. So, for me, it doesn't happen or hindi ko na recognize overnight. Again, I do have plenty of years pagdating sa experience, pagdating So, more or less, uh, meron akong idea anong possible mangyari in terms of probability and possibility doon. At the same time, uh, nare-recognize ko yung mga yan through experiences. So, again, if you want to improve as a trader, uh, learn to fail, uh, learn to win, and learn to have the discipline. Okay? So, again, this is a skill. This is not just a uh, 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 an overnight uh, level of uh, skill na pwede nyong aralin. It takes practice and it takes experience. So, I hope again, uh, I gave value para sa, sa lesson na to and para sa inyo guys. So, I hope na itindihan and sana may natutunan naman kayo and nakuha kayong aral for spotting reversals. Okay? So again, I would just like to thank all of my VIP students all over the globe and sa mga bago enrollees. Thank you so much for enrolling sa VIP natin sa TFP Champion uh, Mentorship. And those people na nagko-comment, nagme-message, nagla-like, subscribe. Again, I really appreciate you guys and thank you so much. So, that will be it. Pasensya na ako, nabubulol ako. So, that will be it for today. And thank you so much for all your support and see you again on the next video. Bye-bye. So, I just want to inform and announce that our TFE VIP Champion Student Private Discord community is already up. And yeah, here we have several channels wherein we share our technical trading ideas among each other. And uh, of course, we also have our weekly trade ideas para sa ating mga weekly forecast para sa mga currency pairs. And some announcement section. And of course, since tayo ay global, of course, uh, we have other students as well na galing sa mga ibang bansa overseas. So, we here we introduce ourselves and introduce kung saan tayo galing, sa bansa tayo ngayon, OFW man o hindi. But nevertheless, uh, this is a healthy community para mag-share ng mga trading ideas para sa inyo guys. And hopefully, I will be putting up a server publicly para sa mga baguhan naman and those mga followers and subscribers natin. Alright? So, yeah, this is just a minor announcement and hopefully guys, you can join us and uh, make this community grow, lalo na sa ating mga uh, sudyante nag-aaral. Alright guys, so mga paguhan pa lang. But nevertheless, uh, everyone here wants to learn, wants to make profit from the market. But as much as possible, we're all equal in the eyes of the market. Alright guys, so that would be it. So, yun lang. And uh, thank you very much. Alright.